Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm fixing to get started planting my seeds, and I'm going to show you step by step what I do. And uh, I've already got started already. Uh, I just went with all my foam cups. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using to plant my uh, seeds in. Uh, I had somebody recommend using the plastic cups, and I'll, I'll probably change over to that next year. And uh, for right now, I'm just going to use these foam cups. And uh, what I do, I just label them whatever I'm planting. Say this is going to be a beef steak tomato. So uh, I just went through all these different cups over here. And that's what's good about cups. Uh, they hold a good bit of soil. So I'll put my soil in here. And I won't do no transplanting or anything. I'll just put them in here and let them grow. And when I get ready to plant them outside, you know, I'll just take them out of this cup here. And I'll be ready to plant. So I won't have you know take from one container to the next i just use this one cup from you know seedlings all the way up to getting ready to plant them but the first thing i do is uh i just take a uh like 16 penny nail after i get through laden and uh i just on the bottom of them i put about four holes in them just like it right there and uh that lets the water when i water them the water drains out won't hold into the cup so you, you want to do that on uh, all of them and you can take a fork or anything to put your holes in there with uh, I just find I like using my 16 penny nail it works real good for me alright so the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, I just take me a scoop like I say you know talking about finding things in your kitchen to use you know you may have something uh, designated specifically for this uh, a lot of times we just uh, just kind of use what we have, and uh, so I'll just take a couple of scoops of this uh, soil here, pot soil, and I'll fill it up near the top there, just about like it right there. Leave me a little bit of room for water and settling down there, and then what I do, say the first thing we plant is a beef steak tomato, so I go ahead and get my seeds out and. On the back of each seeds right here, the packages, they'll tell you on the back of them uh, exactly uh, when's the best time to get them planted, tell you what depth to plant them at and uh, the space and everything. So you, what you want to do, you want to hang on these packs uh, just, just for that purpose. Um, so this uh, says right here, you want the seed space and say one half inch. Uh, it says you're planting in a row, but we're going to be planting in cups today. And it says uh, sow the seed at a quarter inch. So, uh, it also tells you on the back of your packages uh, what zone uh, that you'd be planting in and what's the best time to be planting these seeds. And say the zone I live in is showing uh, March through June. So, uh, we're right on time for that. And usually, what I do. On these tomatoes or anything in particular uh, I usually plant more than one seed per cup and when they come up I just uh, say take out what I don't want to leave I, I just want to leave one uh, plant per cup but just say starting off uh, I always plant two about two seeds two or three seeds at least so uh, I just use my finger. Uh, you can use different things. You can use a wooden dowel, or you could use a uh, well. Right here is a little sharpie right here. I, I used uh, to write on my uh, cups. I, I'll use that and just take it and just push it down in there. Now what I do, just just so I know that you now I've got planted that cup and won't be on a mistake. I just set this cup aside. I won't cover up the soil yet. Uh, I'll come back and do that. And uh, so what I'll do, I'll just come back, do some more cuts. And so it's just basically real straightforward. Uh, that, that's all we're going to be doing right here. And I'll do this for all my plants. And uh, now watering them, 
That's the next thing. Uh, once I get through putting my soil in, putting plants in, I'll cover, come back and uh, I'll put a little bit of soil right over the top of each of these seeds cups in this cups here and uh, I like waiting on these seeds are so small it's hard to see I, I just kind of wait and I set them aside but uh, I'll go back and I'll show you how I do that for his water you know you want to make sure you got plenty of water in, in your you know cups and like I say they'll drain out and I, and I just soak them real good and let the water come out the bottom of them and uh, before I put them in my tray there but I'll show you how to do that Alright y'all, y'all can see my seed right down in here. And I've got one over here done dirt's uncovered up. But you can see my seeds there down in my hose. What what I do, either you can uh, you either you can take the soil and put a little bit on top, or you can do this right here and just kind of bump it. And it'll cover the seed up. And uh, so that's what I do. Now them not seeds right there. <laughs> that's uh, that's part of that pot and soil. I just take it, bump it around like it right there, and that soil is so light, it'll cover up. You know, it'll cover up the seeds there. So, all right, y'all. Uh, one thing I want to show y'all: uh, these little seeds, so small a lot of times. We like to so you can pour them out on your table, tomato seeds and so small what you want to do you need to take your finger and dip it in some water or do it like that real quick <laughs> and uh, pick them little seeds up on the tip of your finger there and they're a whole lot easier to drop in there once you do that just a little tip there I want to share with y'all if you if you have trouble that is you know getting your seeds put in the hole there just uh, moisten the tip of your finger and they pick them seeds right up. Right, the next thing I did, I just put these uh, cups in my sink. And I just go through here with my sprayer, soaking them down real good. And uh, I'm just going to fill them up until that water soaks that soil really good. And the excess water, all it's going to do is just going to run out in my sink there. Get good moist starting off. Another thing you want to make sure you uh, check your uh, plants every day. You want to make sure they're they're not drying out. And, um, probably want to add just a little bit of water, maybe every day, every other day. Uh, don't want them too wet, but just starting out right there. Probably ain't gonna have to check them probably uh, for the second day. We got them good and moist right now, so. All right, y'all. Uh, Simpson some more uh, pot and soil right here. Just get my good soil out of it. I'm putting in this uh, pot right here. First thing I did though, the uh, the bark and chips I got from uh, other uh, bags the other day, like this right here, I filled uh, filled about halfway up, take up some room in this pot, and uh, I'm gonna fill it on up with good soil, and I'm gonna plant my chives in it. I believe that's gonna work good for me. chives. And we like using them, cutting them up and putting them on our baked potatoes with sour cream. Plant my chives right here. Uh, these chive seeds are very, very small. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take them. They say you plant about a quarter inch deep. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spread them around in here. Just 
Then uh, I'm just going to take some of this oil right here and go back over the top of it and cover it up. Alright y'all, well I got my last bucket here planted. I planted with some uh, bunch and onion seeds in there and I've never done that before so I'm curious to see how they turn out. Um, if they do good, you know, I'll thin them out and set them out in my garden there. And I'll leave some of them in my pot here. But uh, I just want to bring y'all on today, show you my plant, plant my seeds process. And uh, it, like I say, it was easy, uh, nothing to it. And uh, on my next video, y'all stay tuned, I'm going to be showing my grow lights what I use. I'll be using a new grow light this year. It's just a light that uh, I've seen on, off eBay and I bought it and uh, I was going to try it out. But I'm also going to be trying on some of other plants, the mother light that I've used. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to kind of compare both of them and see which works, you know, best for me there. So y'all stay tuned. And uh, as always, for my family yours, y'all have a blessed day, friends. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.